We are in the heart of the Salona Beach rebuild, and the end of year three push is upon us. The boys need to get hot and string some wins together. Besides the blowout loss to Texas Tech in week two, we have lost by only one possession in every other game, and by heartbreak fashion in some. So the record shows two and four, but really, we are better than that, and I believe we're on the verge of a breakout. Phillip Rivers is sticking with his young, inexperienced defense, with over 75% of the starting roster on defense being filled by freshmen and sophomores. I can't stress this this enough, but this is a pivotal time for the sponges. We get to a bowl game that unlocks the full recruiting board. Right now, we are handicapped to three-star prospects or less, and these prospects have to border an ocean. You know we want them four to five-star prospects and all the stars out there that are landlocked. Like Eric Poole, a five-star from Kansas, I call these guys freshwater sponges. Having access to saltwater and freshwater sponges is a game changer. Speaking of game changers, we have already nailed down seven prospects that will be joining us at the start of year four. We also landed our best recruit in Salona Beach history, Jonathan Johnson, aka John John. A 78 overall gem defensive tackle, this man put up a monster season in his senior year of high school. 19 sacks, which is tied for 10th in the nation at most sacks in a single high school season. The only knack on his game, and honestly probably the only reason why he's still a three-star prospect, is because he played at the two-way level. A major dub for Salona Beach, we can't wait for him to soak up the opposition and shore up our defensive line. But that's next year. For right here, right now, we got to focus in on winning. At two and four, we probably can only afford one more loss to keep the bull dreams alive. Looking at our schedule, the battle for San Diego is next, and that rivalry game is gonna be a big one. We lost an OT thriller in year one. We took care of business in year two. Now let's go find out what's in store for us in year three. Looking like big time underdogs for year three in the battle for San Diego. A few injuries plaguing our team right now, Brown was a gem right end we brought in last year. Unfortunate to see him out only for three more weeks. Finn, though, the preseason All-American defensive tackle, dislocated ankle. He's going to be out till probably the bowl game. So let's get to a bowl game. And our next step on that path is to get through the Aztecs. It's the battle for San Diego, a classic here in San Diego, California. The series is split one to one, so this is a big game three. Opening kickoff, I'm surprised not many more Salona Beach fans made the track down to the Aztec Stadium, because gosh, it can't be more than 30 minutes away. Oh yeah, maybe it's because we're two and four. I forgot. And Crum up the middle, throwing us down, getting a big 18 yards. Well, that was a crummy way to get started, and he's gonna hand it off to Davis, and that's another big run with another stiff arm to go with it. All right, I'll tell you right now, you don't have to be a genius to know that 18 yards per play on offense for the Aztecs is not gonna be sustainable for us. Willie Marquardt had other ideas, shedding right through his blocker. Big sack. Third and 14, let's try our very best not to sell the bag here. HB screen, now nah, we got him. Time for some sponge offense. Adam Allen is our quarterback in this one, and we're gonna get it out to Bembry for a first down. If you didn't watch last episode, there's a reason why we're sticking with Adam Allen. But the spark note version is, well, we had a really good game against Alabama. And well, let's not deny that Brandon Moore was just throwing way too many inaccurate balls. I may sound a little biased towards Adam Allen right now, but trust me, I'm not. I'm open to this QB position battle to come because because both guys, someone needs to step up. New Zealand Williams, what a name. Tell me that was uh, an EA generated name. New Zealand Williams, or is that a real player? Third and five, let's get off the field here with our defense. Thank you for dropping the ball, sir. So I think for now, I'm just gonna go with the hot hand, whether it's Adam Allen or Brandon Moore. If Adam Allen doesn't convince me, I might go to a quarterback carousel just to get some competition out here. Third and 11 already. Gosh, what's it gonna be? An inaccurate ball. Bummer. Three and out against the Aztecs would be ideal. Another QB keeper. We'll stop him short. Third and five, calling for a slant. We're going to go across the middle. That's King. Good first down. Third down once more. Across the middle, Rock Boston. What am I doing? San Diego State has brought in a new quarterback, seeing if they can get any success with this guy. Javante came in, and on his first pass, he completed for a first down, and he's got the legs. This guy might be the answer for the Aztecs. Another big third down. Does the new quarterback have what it takes to get the Aztecs moving? Nah, not even close. I'm not gonna lie, our defense is kind of playing stingy for only being a 66 overall. Third and three, if we convert on this run, we're gonna keep the drive alive. And we do, so let's hurry it up now. If Adam doesn't give me a good drive here, I'm probably gonna go look to Brandon Moore for the second half. Third and 12, that curl flat. Shh deflected. Yikes. Forced to punt again, and the battle for San Diego remains a 0-0 score. Let's stop the Aztecs on offense and go to half. All tied up. Just nine seconds. What are they going to do? Get sacked. That's what you're going to do, right? He shakes it free. 
still get sacked. Okay. Little last gasp, Hail Mary here. I've seen crazier things happen. So let's please let this thing drop harmlessly. Well, hope you like defense. Zero, zero. What is a sponge fan doing giving high fives to the Aztecs? All right, we're going to take the second half kickoff and we're going to let Brandon Moore get a drive at least because I need a change of pace. I need someone to provide a spark. Just looking for someone to get more than 50 passing yards. And that is why I benched Brandon Moore in the first place ridiculous you wouldn't believe attribute wise that brandon moore is the more accurate quarterback because when he makes plays like that i question myself something about brandon moore though makes me feel more like boom or bust you know like he's got the legs he's got the arm that was an insane first down conversion drop it back see if he can scramble here i see brent martin i see a running back as well turner We'll take it. Brandon Moore just feels a bit more twitchy. You know what I mean? Third and long. I'm going to go to Brent. I think he would have had that if he didn't get held up. Another big third down here. Let's just drop it off to Brent, who makes the catch. First down. Back to Donnie Turner, who's going to break free of a tackler there and get a nice 10 yards. Second and inches. I'm scrambling out. I think... Oh, no. Sacked with not much time to get rid of it this aztecs defense is stingy and uh let's just escape let's use our legs i think we can get it let's push just short philip rivers says go for it and you know what i'm on the same page as that man let's go for it and convert let's throw it out yo that's what i get on the run making a ridiculous throw third and four it's a run up the middle i'm there but he just gets the extra yards by stiff arming me i think i've learned that i can't expect anything in this rivalry game first year it was an offensive shootout second year we handle business this year it's a silent shutout type game third and goal let's rally the troops get him in there to make a stop yes we take these field goal that's fine let's go sponges broxton big return get us going down the field sir i think we're gonna come at it with a little bit of read option here i know brandon moore has got the jets when he's ready to turn them on here we go power O up the middle donnie turner's got a little bit of room gonna drop a quick little flat oh my gosh beasley read that so easily my goodness the curl flat nothing doing there that flag hopefully it's in our favor okay it's a clipping foul on new zealand is that on the return is it still our Ball. so yeah it's safe to say predetermining that i was going to throw to that curl flat hurt us thankfully the penalty on the return gives us a chance here to get a stop on defense third and four i'm definitely feeling like a run here but i don't want to just commit just in case yeah see there's a pass thankfully i didn't call run love to see stucky the six foot seven linebacker getting involved first and ten we're gonna hit him with the halfback drive i don't think they see this coming or maybe they do. We have got to hurry up. There is no time to waste here as the clock is just ticking and it's ticking fast. Bembry, timeout. Third and two. There we go. Back to the curl flat. This time it wasn't picked off. Brandon Moore in the sponges with his 25 seconds left, trying to get his team down into field goal range at least. Read options to me always feel like safe bets with a dual threat quarterback. As you can see, we got plenty of space to push this one all the way down to the red zone. Now, I definitely don't want to fumble, so I think that's why I'm going to pass here. And we're going to throw it out to Brent and he's caught it. Oh my gosh, I thought that was about to get picked. And with just 10 seconds left, we are right outside the goal line. Donnie Turner up the middle. No one thought we were going to drive down this field and score a touchdown. And oh my goodness, with eight seconds left, we take the lead. Even coach Philip Rivers had his share of doubts, but he slaps Donnie on the butt anyway, says good job. And with one second left, they're just going to throw a last gasp to the air. Willie with his third sack of the day drops him. It's game over. The surfer's cup belongs to us, but it was not pretty to say the least. I think I'm definitely going to go back to a quarterback carousel. We're going to start with Adam Allen in the beginning of the next game. And then if he can't perform, Brandon will get the second half. Big Willie definitely gets player of the game in my book. After sitting on the edge of our seats, we get to take on Wyoming, who's actually doing pretty well this year in the Mountain West. We are home in sunny San Diego. Salona Beach is the site of this one. Somehow, some way, atop of the Mountain West with a three and four record, two and one in conference play beating our rival last week was massive. New Mexico Lobos are seven and one. Hold on. Adam Allen back at the helm, getting his crack once again with the offense in the first half. Second in inches. Brent Martin should be open on that one. Yes, sir. Brent Martin was talking to Philip Rivers the other day, and he was getting sick and tired of this QB nonsense. He wants to get some skin in the game. You already know for his senior send-off, we have to get him to a bowl game. Eight and 88. Brent Martin and Rock Boston, two fan favorites, have to become just more involved in this offense third and 10 just past midfield a lot of pressure in our face this is crazy i don't really feel like punting i'm gonna be honest so i'm gonna go deep and brent martin lays out what a snag big third down 
Yep, over the middle should have it. It's McCorder. Okay, Adam, I see you leading us down here. Donnie trying to do the rest. Just short. Goal line action here. Read option. Hand off to Donnie. He gets his way. I'm glad we were able to score in one drive. Unlike last game where it took four quarters. Half back screen. Oh, he's got it. Unless I can track him down. Got him short. First and 10. Going to scramble out a little bit. Brent Martin should be open on a slant. Yes, and a spin. Get down the sideline. Tripping up teammates. The Cowboys are getting gashed with a monster 55-yard play. Let's drop out with a play action. See if Rock Boston gets open, and that he does. Second and goal. Back to our man. Up the middle. Touchdown. Third and two. Wyoming getting creative. Wildcat formation. It's like anyone in their mother could see that coming. Number 17 at quarterback. Suva Boda? That was a last name for sure. Same number as Josh Allen, a star under his name like Josh Allen, and he's big and tall like Josh Allen. He's driving down the field, read option. Come on, someone make a play. Third and nine. Let's stop Josh Allen on this play. Manning tries to tackle him, and thankfully the squad is all there. Third lining up for about a 40-yard field goal here. It's no good. And let's be real, I have no reason to bench Adam Allen right now. He is doing everything we ask of him. Third and inches stack in the backfield, but Rock Boston's the only guy we need in an accurate pass. Adam Allen, you want this job? Show me. Fourth and inches. We're gonna scramble. Throw it out to Brent. He makes the snag. Drop him back. Brent Martin open down the sideline just making play after play today stepping up in a big way rock boston what in the world dude i always get baited on that throw like it should be lobbed over this man's head like look at the replay my intentions were there the execution wasn't we'll stick with adam allen here in the second half until he tells us otherwise and these balls man don't tell adam or brandon but we need to win a bowl game so i can go search the whole nation for a four or five star quarterback Brent Martin, huge play. And the senior receiver just passed up a Salona Beach School record, most receiving yards in a single game, 166. There is still one full half of football, and uh, let's see how far Brent Martin can go. Back-to-back -back records, Donnie Turner, third touchdown of the game. No one's done it before for Salona Beach. Third and nine, Adam Allen sees a man over the middle. He's going to lob it up to him. McCorder comes down. Third and three, quick flat to Brent Martin. Another catch to add to the collection. Having himself a day, feeding him once more. Brent Brent Martin's on a roll. Running back with a bench. We're going to do it again. Brent Martin just gets around the man. Why not? 208 receiving yards and a touchdown to go along with a monster game. Little update on defense. We're shutting them out. Evan Savota, or you could call him Josh Allen, is not able to do much against our defense. Right now, I'm impressed with how we're playing against the Aztecs, how we're playing against Wyoming. These were two teams I was worried about. Up the middle with a blitz. Can't, oh, we just fell short, but hey, that's why we have the troops coming in on all sides. Third and four, Adam Allen dropping back. I think Brent has a step on the DB. He does, comes down with a big catch. I don't know who that star DB is on Wyoming, but he's not doing anything today to stop Brent Martin. Second and 10, dropping out. It's Brent Martin once again. This guy has, I don't even know. I've lost count of how many catches, but he's doing it all. 11 catches, 259 yards. Not only has he broken the record, he's broken it by like 100 yards at this point. Adam Allen up the middle. Big carry. Third and 10. I'm going to go out to Brent Martin. Ooh, defense was there this time. We'll settle for three. It's going to be 31-0 in the fourth. Just under a minute left. I don't think there's any hope for these guys. I don't care what they do. If they score, nothing. Have you ever seen 31 points in one minute? Because I've never seen it. And now they have 12 seconds to do it. I think it's impossible. I want to keep the shutout alive. Five seconds left. Are they going to get a snap off? This could be the shutout in Jeopardy. No, we win. They don't get the snap. 31-0. Shutout is intact. So he might have looked like Josh Allen, but he sure as heck didn't play like him. Brent Martin with a record day. That is what we'd like to see. Offense coming alive in the second half of the year. Mountain West mania continues on, this time going up against the Bulldogs. Fresno State in the all red. Usually a tough team and a tough out in the Mountain West. Salona Beach has their hands full, but I think we're on a little bit of a roll. We can get it going. Couple stars leading Fresno State here, quarterback and running back. Both look pretty good. Pressure coming in. Yes, we drop him. Scott Carter, the sophomore linebacker, getting in there with Willie, getting the job done. A missed field goal by Fresno State is a good opportunity for us, and it, there it is again. Am I just not giving enough time for the route to develop? Like, what is it? Not really sure what's going on, but Adam Allen is already missed on like three of my six passes. After a decisive win last week, it's really hard to explain explain why he has the heebie-jeebies. Third and 17, just hoping we can chuck one up, and wow, there's a lot of pressure on us, and 
punting for the third time. Can't keep my mind off the quarterback battle that we're having. It's perplexing, really. I don't know how to figure it out. Adam Allen has a solid game against Wyoming, and right now he's two for 10. It's like, I don't know what to do. And the downside is that Fresno State is not like Wyoming. These guys are probably gonna score, meaning we have to figure it out on offense because points will be needed. Defense is showing up today in a big way. And then on third and 15, he scores. As soon as I was going for the compliment. All right, fresh set of downs here. Let's take the routine play. There's the inaccuracy again. Like I'm looking for explanations. Did someone put something in his food? And now I don't know what happened on that slant play. Two for 12 with an interception. I have to probably go to Brandon Moore now here soon because I can't take this much longer. Someone help me in the chat. What do we do for year four at quarterback? I was hoping we'd get the version of the offense that came out during the Wyoming game and it's just not clicking today. Yo, I'm actually getting bothered by how the defense is playing. Like this is nuts. I feel forced to just do stupid things like that. Halftime, Adam Allen, you're done. I'm getting Brandon Moore in there. That was shaky to say the least. This is like a Katy Perry hot and cold song, you know, like first Adam's hot, then he's cold. Now it's Brandon's turn. An abysmal 32 yards in the first half. Just need anything. Little read option. Brandon Moore just scoots on by. Oh man, what a run. That run right there was almost exactly how many yards we had in the first half alone. Just at midfield, dropping it off. McCorder can't hold on. Third and nine at midfield. Brent Martin, are you going to make a play? He does. Oh my goodness. The deflection got bailed out on that one. Not on this one though. No, Brent Martin snags it. Third and six. I'm calling the read options. Just going to hand it to Cozart. I couldn't get out of that animation. I guess we're going to play long game here and just take three. Rock Boston. I see you. There's the connection we've been waiting for. Spreading out our guys. Brent Martin. That's probably picked. Oh my goodness. Can lightning strike twice. I saw that little step. What? What did I do wrong, man? I'm so sick of throwing so many picks. Second and goal. I'm gonna dive up the middle. Doesn't matter, Moss scores. This team is so Jekyll and Hyde. We couldn't get anything done today. So I'm just gonna chuck that Hail Mary up and it somehow worked, but a minute left, it's over. I'm just gonna see if we can get a consolation prize. Throw one up deep to Brent Martin. He comes down with it. Where was this all game? Keen and the Bulldogs cook us a new one, man. That was tough to see. Tough to watch, tough to play. I just, yeah, let's move on the next week. Honestly, not much happening in the recruiting front these last few weeks, but I did want to show you all Kellen Buchanan, an Alaska player. That's right. He's from Alaska and that definitely borders an ocean. So I definitely want to bring this frozen sponge player onto the gridiron. And you know why? 72 overall, 95 speed, 81 juke, 80 spin, 91 kick returnability, 85 spectacular catch. He is a receiver through and through. Hawaii is another one of them states surrounded by ocean, but our sponges are cooler at Salona Beach. Let's give them a run for their money. We do have good old Tim Williams visiting us this week. So let's put on a show for our whopping one prospect in attendance. Philip Rivers is having a hard time figuring out the secret sauce with this year's Solana Beach sponges. We win big one week, we lose big the next. As you see, we're four and five and second in the standings. Like, come on, man. I just want to at least get to the famous Idaho Potato Bowl or something. All right, Beck with a QB keeper on the first play of the game, getting a big chunk. He has a star underneath his name and so does the running back. So it is a little interesting that they're one and eight at this point. What could go wrong? I mean, you got some stars, but I guess we got a couple stars here on defense too. And uh, we're not even a 70 overall so maybe that also says something seemingly having no trouble in this drive getting all the way down the field so if their problem was offense i don't really see it turning the ball back over to adam allen giving him the start in this one as really last game no one was impressive but you'll definitely get on my good side fast if you can start hitting up brock boston i am beyond ready for someone to step up and actually want the job a little bounce back here on defense would be lovely but uh heinz has other ideas with a mean stiff arm going awfully far it feels a little embarrassing not gonna lie to get gashed by hawaii right now Fourth and two, though. That's a good stop. All right. I simmed one play and they hit me with a fake punt. It looked like they were going to punt and then they pass, get the first down. They tricked me. Third and one, man in motion. It's all for show. Thankfully, don't complete it. Well, they fooled me with a fake punt and get their three out of it. I guess when you're one and eight, you really don't care. You're going to leave it all out on the line. Third and six. I'm going to drop it out to the curl. It's Brent Martin. I can always rely on this guy. We are definitely going to have our hands full. I can't hit Rock Boston. I just can't. I don't know what I have to do. Like I straight up need a quarterback, it feels like, with 90 plus accuracy because there's nothing I can do to hit that guy across the middle. Benches, we're gonna let him clear with Brent Martin, who just puts a nifty little move past the defender. I say we hurry back to the line, run the same play, see if they get caught in man coverage once more and they 
do. This time, Brent makes him pay. Third and 10, dropping back to pass. I got my assignment, and so do they. Holding it down. All right, good. No fake punts this time, and a little play action here. Springs rock Boston open. First down. I know I'm risking it with such a bad offensive line, but I just want to run more play actions because they usually lead to big things like this. Adam Allen, seven for 11 today. It's like 7-11. He's always open, and he's always ready to make a play. Rock Boston, though. I can't hit him. Every time I compliment a quarterback, he botches it. So maybe I'll just be quiet and let the offense work. Turn 10. Brent Martin out route just short we're in field goal range but coach philip rivers wastes no time saying go for it rock boston will get it for us and he does I haven't been able to call rock's name as much as i would like to but he's stepping up on this drive and i thought he scored they're all hurrying back to crowd the line and i should have just handed it off i thought i would catch him napping but nope it didn't work like that but brent martin catches his defender napping so crazy story and you won't see it because i simmed it but uh our guy he dropped the punt return he fumbled the punt return leading Hawaii to this point in scoring a touchdown. I wasn't going to play the punt return, so you don't get to see that, but he, he fumbled it. And the next play, bingo. 18 seconds left, just looking for anyone to spring open for me, and yeah, no one did it. Bro, thought they were just going to run the clock out before half. You see what happened, a 65-yard touchdown. What is going on with Hawaii right now? They're 1-8, and eight, but they're playing like they're definitely a lot better than that we seriously can't afford to drop a game here to hawaii we have to get this dub for the sake of a bowl game we refuse to go down quietly against hawaii we just oh, i should have dropped off to the running back third and a mile to go my goodness just someone needs to get open and he does and i get it off bembry if you had just had the acceleration going you would be in this end zone but i can't complain with a big play like that and dang the pressure is just immense deja vu huh third and a mile to go again and this time just throwing it to the ground we need this 39 yard field goal i don't want any shenanigans here down by a touchdown we just got to get moving third and four rock boston across the middle there we go second and ten i'm running the play action brent martin across the middle he's got it get out of the way ref nah it's all good i'm just playing with you because this touchdown right here that's all we needed fourth quarter let's see what defense wants to come out and play i guess the one that gives up first downs right now second and five they got the receiver in motion it's just a handoff to him and we were all over that third and Seven, dropping back to pass i got their stuff all covered up except he gets the corner route on his touchdown three minutes to go let's put in work and get another score second and five curl action brent martin does the rest okay i had a guy i still thankfully find king who keeps it in bounds gets a big first down second and ten i'm gonna dump it to the running back donnie makes the haul and gets a first down big third down here we've got to have this and i see a guy and we come through Bembry. Got to give Adam Allen some credit. He's been pretty efficient today in doing all the right things, except there, again, another trying to connect with Rock Boston, who was open. Didn't work out. I swear, that is going to drive me crazy. Brent Martin, thankfully, gets us a big snag. I have to give this ball with fourth and inches, the game on the line, to Adam Allen. I'm looking for a QB sneak. No tush push, unfortunately, but this will have to do touchdown. Decisions, decisions. Do I actually snap this ball and go for two? I like the look. I'm going to just hand it off the middle to Donnie Turner. I mean, I think we can do it. Let's go. That was brutal, but we pay it off. Oh my goodness. I thought he was going to get tackled for a loss because the defender just bowled his way through our blocker. Okay, now it's not just tied up anymore. We got the one point lead. That was huge, but uh, I don't want Hawaii getting any funny ideas here. So let's just tackle Sims. Anyone? Anyone? No. Oh my gosh. I am going to scream. That just happened. That just happened. Coach Phillip Rivers is beside himself right now. I mean, Adam Allen busted his hump for this just for that. The crummy thing here is a field goal is not good enough. We have to go all the way and go for six. If I just had a better offensive line, dude, I would have cashed in on so many opportunities. And King, speaking of opportunities, we cough it up and we're going to lose. This is out of my hands, out of my control. I am livid right now. Because I have nothing else to lose, coach's challenge. Maybe we get a miracle here from the zebra. That has to be an incomplete pass. Literally, actually think about it. It's bang, bang, and I think the game's gonna give it to Hawaii. And actually, now that we lost our challenge in a timeout there, they're gonna just kneel their way to victory. The one in eight Hawaii Warriors embarrass Salona Beach at their own stadium here. This is getting a little ridiculous. Now we have to win out. Dude, I'm so salty right now that we lost to Hawaii, and it's gonna get a whole lot harder 
Carter going up against Boise State now. A few prospects that were interested in are making the trip out to Solana Beach. An upset against the Boise State Broncos would be a miracle for us because I want to win two more games and get to a bowl game. Maddox Madsen, Ashton Genty, two of the best in the nation and Definitely Ashton Genty. This guy is all American dark horse. And sorry, did I say all American dark horse? The dude is a Heisman dark horse. Like I can't even tackle him right now in the game. Third and five, big stop here would be amazing. And that's exactly what happens. You know, I didn't really glance at Boise State's record. So I am surprised to see that they're four and six because they have like an 86 overall team. Maybe it means they're vulnerable and ours for the taking. Third and one, it feels like Ashton Genty territory. And yeah, it was. We stop him though. Maybe a read option is what we need to get it started as Turner's gonna cut it back and get a nice seven yard gain. Now we got third and three and we're just dropped. Not even a second to breathe. At least defense is having a little bit of fun out here with a big safety. Come on now. Scott Carter, the sophomore linebacker. 2-0 ball game and Donnie gonna take this one just for a few. Third and three looking to complete our first pass and we just can't stop getting sacked. Defense came to play against Boise today. They couldn't come to play against Hawaii but we're stepping up today. Second and seven, looking to complete a pass. Brent Martin had a step, man. I don't know what to say today. 0 for five. And that's just 0 for five when we can get the ball out of our hands. More often than not, we're getting sacked. Five total yards of offense. This is a sweaty Bronco defense. Tawny Turner cutting it up field. We take those. And now it's starting to pour because I think we're gonna be able to start completing some passes. Adam Allen getting in a little bit of a groove, but before he gets a time to throw it, dropped second and 20 just going with a deep attack and i think we got him that's bembry we have got to cash in at least once out here and wow that ball was so far from brand i'm glad adam's having a better drive but uh i still am tempted to go with brandon here for a second half if we can cash in right here i'll reconsider my position donnie just couldn't find a lane third and goal gonna give this one off to cozart to the left fighting through he's got it come on third and 10 they're just handing it off i thought they would try to get the first down but they do anyway. Ashton Genty bumps off the back of the defender. Second and seven. I'm covering it up with the linebacker. And wow, the tight end just broke free. Just 10 seconds left. Why don't we send a blitz and hope the pressure disrupts this? Yeah, he's going to throw it away. This is honestly a win for the Broncos. So getting three points, that's big time. It's third and short. Little curl flat will do. Wow, we can't connect. I am going for it because I'm the riskiest coach in all of the land. And I'm just trying to dump it off. We get it to Upshaw. And he fumbled. Bro, like that, that was not cool. Not cool at all. Touchdown. Brandon Moore checking into the game. You know, consistency is not his middle name and accuracy is not his middle name either. But you're bound to get a big player here or there with Brandon Moore. He can do a lot of things and fumbling i guess is one of them right now our mistakes on offense are literally giving boise state the win like i'm gonna need a bounce pack performance here brandon so please step up do your best second and 10 rock boston there we go first and 10 rock boston over the middle again gets open we gotta keep that connection alive okay brandon i see you shaking off that rocky start and actually coming to play right now pretty unsuccessful clip in the red zone so far this game and i should have just dumped it out to our running back third and and 11 over the middle he's got him this time he connects to mcorder first and goal good time for the read option cozart with a wide open lane up the middle let's hurry it up and see if we can catch him off guard with the same thing this time brandon breaks free touchdown thank goodness for that read option there as donnie tries to fight and we don't get the two it was only a matter of time before we woke up the boise offense and they have come alive in the second half second and seven that's a qb pump there and he goes back to his receiver penry who looks Looked like he had the six. First and goal, handoff up the middle. Touchdown, Caden Dudley. Brandon Moore stepping back out on the field. I think Kozar or Rock Boston. That's Rock Boston. He's so open. Brandon dropping back, looking for Brent. He's got him. This bench play is a staple right now. And Brandon does a Brandon thing. I swear this time, I want you all to count how many ins in this video were my fault and let me know how many were just the inaccurate quarterback's fault because I'm going to the right receivers. Big stop, so I thought that's game. Well guys, it's sinking in. I think it's gonna do it no matter what Boise State does here. We're down by two possessions and we'll make it three. These last couple of games really sting, man. I'm not gonna lie. It's been a difficult time. We're gonna fall just short of a bowl game. Boise State defeat us in our first ever time matching up. Ashton Genty on like 10 touches, put up 150 yards in a touchdown. That last one stings and signals a lost season in year three. 
I just hope Phil Rivers doesn't get fired. Oh, great. I forgot the void. And that is pretty symbolic of the season we've had. It's just been a black pit of despair this year. So close, yet so far, we didn't get to the bowl game. So we're still handicapped for next year in recruiting because I'm not going to play on the black void field. I'm just going to let the sim take care of it, see how we do, see if it matters. So the sim has us going back and forth in a tight one here. It's all tied up at the void. Who's going to win at the black hole? It's tied up. Are we going OT? We're going OT. And we lose to cap off a four and eight season. Evaluating how the squad did, honestly, nothing impressive at all from either of these guys. I mean, Adam Allen slightly did better. Brandon Moore, though, was clearly the better dual threat. At least Brent Martin can head out as a senior, knowing that he gave it all he got. 1,100 yards, six touchdowns. We salute you for all your service. Bembry's also gone. Rock Boston is the last one left returning next year that was a top three receiver. Willie Markhart continues his impressive career as a young defensive end. DJ Giddens, K-State proud, wins the Heisman. And as a K-Stater myself, I love to see it. One day though, I believe a Salona Beach sponge will be on that podium. It feels so far away after going four and eight, but trust me, the day will come. What a sigh of relief. Tony Hawk has extended Phillip Rivers another contract. Even after an 11-26 start, we get the big seven year extension. Our work here building this program up is not in vain. Chris Thomas, a big time freshman receiver transferring to App State. I think he just transferred to our school and now he's transferring out of here. It's a bummer for sure because I believe he would have actually had a big role in this offense coming up. Our go-to guy Brent has now graduated and he's going to go test his luck as a free agent in the NFL. If not, the UFL is always there to pick him up. Finn and Chin, our two defensive tackles are out of here as well. Badger, Lampkin, a couple role players. First order of business, I got to give Greg Sanders out here a few thousand points. He's a six foot receiver, 70 over Overall, coming out of high school, 83 spec catch, 87 speed, good route running. I think he'd be a nice addition. Eric Muse seems like the right guy to add to our trenches. Six foot five from South Carolina, 68 overall. Just a solid depth guy to build up. And then we got Mike, a six foot DB from Georgia, 66 overall, 90 speed, 70s across the board for a coverage. Awfully surprised Kellen Buchanan hasn't committed to us yet. It's probably because we appeal to none of his bonus factors, but we're definitely the best suitor for him. 72 overall, 95 five speed 91 return good after catch abilities i think the speedster would fit right in for us i'm taking one last look at the recruiting board because i'm gonna see if we can snag any last minute three-star quarterback time for a little evaluation busted gem don't want to see that busted gem don't want to see that yeah there's really no one to go with bummer we lose out on greg sanders i was pretty high on that guy but we did get everyone else when i tell you john john's a difference maker he's already slotting in as the fourth best player on this roster kellen buchanan the athlete is gonna come in at a 75 overall receiver that makes him top dog and a speed threat for our guys to go to brandon moore 79 overall 86 speed 88 excel 86 throw power 81 throw accuracy it looks like a dream on paper but you know what i just noticed Adam Allen has plus 13 awareness and maybe that's all the difference it took. So I'm going to give Adam Allen the first crack at the top of the depth chart. Donnie's been good for us, a 77 overall junior, but Brent looks really intriguing as well. 74 overall, 90 speed, 89 excel. He's got better stats than Donnie. I'm initially thinking we run with Brent atop the depth chart. Redshirt sophomore Mike Jennings is our new wide receiver one. And just after one year of Juco, we got the Alaskan sponge. Kellen Buchanan, 75 overall, wide receiver receiver two, 95 speed. I'm going to enjoy this. Rock Boston remains our security blanket with this being his final year. Our top two defensive tackles graduated, but we have two defensive tackles that are freshmen and they're arguably better. John Johnson is so well-rounded that he's got great power moves, finesse moves, and speed. Victor Stevens, another true freshman, going to be our middle linebacker for the future. Don't worry, I still got Rashad in there, moved him over to left outside linebacker. Nolan Scope's going to get the red shirt because there's a lot of talent ahead of him. And sure, I'll give Kevin Towns the red shirt because he also has a few guys ahead of him. Well, here's my synopsis. Year one, we went winless. Year two, we overperformed. And then in year three, it was quite realistic. So year four, I think there are better things in store and I'm excited to get back to a bowl game, win it, and just unlock the full potential of this dynasty. If you're soaking it up with the sponges, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, drop a like, and leave a comment. All your support is much appreciated and it's been King Sponge and I'll catch you in the next one.